Wanna have a wig with cool funky colors? Say no more. You will need a wig. For this method, we will work with one that is heat resistant and synthetic. I chose this one because it is slightly lighter than what we need and therefore perfect as a base. Then, prepare stainless steel pot that is designated for dyeing. You won't be able to use it for normal cooking after this, so really make sure to use an old one or the one you don't mind parting with. I am going with red dye and they recommend working with boiling-ish water around 90 degrees Celsius. You will also need something to stir the colored water with. Again, you can't use it to cook your own food. Sink, shower to rinse the color, hair dryer, comb, protective gloves and hair bubbles. Boil the water and add in the color. I started with half a bottle because I didn't want to make the wig too dark. Mix it all well. Cut out a strand to use for tests. I started with quick dips, then increased it to 5 minutes and then another 5, so 10 minutes total. At this point I would advise you use a clip to secure the strand to the pot so that you don't have to hold it for so long. This is the result after total 10 minutes of dyeing. Tiny, delicate change in color, which is what I wanted, so I moved on to putting in the actual wig. Throw it in, make sure to submerge it entirely and stir the mixture so that it dyes evenly. Be careful not to tangle your wig. Once you feel it has reached its desired color, wash it, starting with warm and slowly colder water until it runs clear. Compare the results with your test strand where they are both wet to make sure they are the same shade you want. This is how the wig looked after it dried. I determined it was too delicate of a change for my liking so I went back to dye it again. The water was still warm because I kept it on and poured almost the entire bottle to make the mixture more intense. Stirry stir stir, I upped the stirring style with some fancy sieve that I also used for dyeing and kept going. With another 10 minutes I repeated the rinsing process and started drying the wig to make sure it has the desired golden blonde color when dried. This is how it looks right now and this is how it looked at the beginning. Now onto the pink color. I divided the hair using the hair bubbles to mark the areas I want to be pink. Repeated the color preparation process, used the test strand to determine the results and waited another 10 minutes. Once I approved the results, I moved on to the actual wig and carefully put the chosen areas for pink color. Remember to stir, twist and swap sides of the wig to make sure the parts are dried evenly around the dividing bubbles. Rinse once you're done. And this is how she looks now. Isn't she beautiful? The wig dyeing is done, but if you want to know how I styled it for Uno, here is the next part. And of course, thank you for watching.